It's another of your shirts. Moto, moto. Because I tell you I, ma I made this money, you say more, more, moto, moto. I tell you I lost weight, you say more, more. You say moto, moto. <laughs> Toshi? What's up? I'm not sure. Moto, moto. That's right. One day you will understand this truth. Real are the dreams of gods, and smoothly pass their pleasure in the long immortal dream. Your thoughts are your dreams, which weave your world into being and sustain it. You and I are inserted into the dream. Tis we who, lost in stormy visions, fight with phantoms and unprofitable strife. And we will continue the dream until we awaken to discover that we are the dreamer who is God himself. From Neville's 1969 lecture, Behold the Dreamer Cometh. And here Neville is just pointing that what we call life is just a dream of life, just like our night dreams, but longer. That's why it seems more real. And that the dreamer is God itself. We are all the gods that make the one God. We've arrived. made of coffee beans. <laughs> Jackpot. I bet there's more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that's a coffee. Um, Look at that. Is that a rose? Is that a rose? Um, I want this one. Neville goes on to say, travel with me in your mind as we read the morning paper. On the first page we read of an air crash, a war, a hold-up, a murder, an embezzlement. Turn the page to the social column. See the pictures of the bride and groom and read all about their wedding and the guests attending. Another page lists the deaths. And finally, we turn to the financial page, which tells us who is making money and who is losing it. Isn't that disjointed? Lost in the reading. We have traveled from violence to a wedding, to gossip, deaths, and finance all written by ten or twelve men who are sound asleep and dreaming their columns into being, while you and the millions who read the paper will see the outpicturing of all that you thought during the reading. And this could apply to anything, not just the newspaper, but what we partake in online, on TV, in life. How often through our day do we remember that this is an uninterrupted dream? How often instead are we lost in the dream? and all the things we come across all throughout the day. Just remember all that you see make for the seeds of your future harvests unless counteracted. That's why it is so important to intentionally imagine, especially when the mind is most fertile. Even if it seems challenging at first, it is the only way. How else to become master of your imagination, your fate? Cheese, just a cheese one. I'll start with this one. Mmm, that's worth the wait. Long wait. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. 
you get a free coffee with yours. Here's my Cafe Royal. It has alcohol in it with coffee. I wonder what kind of alcohol. I couldn't really taste the alcohol. Mm -hmm. Have some Tabasco sauce on that, honey. At least on mine. Too spicy for you? No, it's okay. You want some? Squish. Okay, squish. <laughs> Dig in. Oh, it's pretty, pretty plates. Pretty plates. Let's see what the blessing is. About $29 USD. And even in Neville's time, he knew that all kinds of horrors were going on in the world. But when you have a night dream, a nightmare, the dreamer isn't truly touched by the dream. And so too, he is saying to us, we are dreaming, but don't fret because everything is working towards God's awakening. Even in the dream, when it seems evil is meant towards you, God meant it for good, whatever it takes to wake you. See your idol. That's so hot. That's so hot. He's taller than you. That's your buddy. You guys look alike. <gasps> In closing, Neville says, you are Jesus Christ, sleeping, dreaming, horrible dreams mixed with lovely ones. But in the end, you will awaken from the dream to know you are Jesus Christ. You will then remain a little while to tell your experiences to those who are willing to be disillusioned and will allow their false ideas of the past to fall away. Then you will leave this little shadow that walks across the earth to enter eternity as God. Now as we go into the silence, let us for a moment awaken in the dream of life, to become lucid, to just watch this dream and all the dream thoughts that flow, all the dream images we might see with our eyes open or even closed. What do you want to see? What do you want to paint in the landscape of your dream? Now, let us go into the silence.
Good. <laughs>